And we're live. Hey, good evening, guys, and welcome to my Mandela Effect channel. We're discussing Mandela Effects and the like. Thank you for joining in. Welcome all Mandela Effectians. Uh, so hello out there to everyone. We got Sandy and Teresa. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing a, a ton of Mandela Effects. We've got a bunch to show you guys, so please stay tuned. Uh, Sandy. Yes. Hi, guys. What is the first one on the list tonight? Well, we have some things to, to get before we even get started. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us we about it. We have birthdays and shout outs. We're going to redo the birthdays for April in case they weren't here last week. So on April 4th, we have Lori Ann Lothian. On the 11th, we have Jennifer Barnes and Joanne Steen. On the 13th, we have Samuel Gilman. On the 13th, also, we have Jerry Hicks, Dark Wolf Den. On the 14th, we have E Man. On the 27th, uh, Suso. And on the 28th, Mrs. M.A. So happy birthday, guys. And then we Happy also, birthday. yeah. And then we also have an announcement, um, like sort of a retraction. Um, last last show, um, we talked about Superman. Now, Teresa did find that the first Superman was Rick Allen. Now, not George Reeves. She found it on her own, but Kryptonian originally found the change. He found it a few months back, or maybe even a year ago or so, and did a video on it. So um, maybe in the description, we can put a link to that video for everyone. Yeah, that sounds good. We can do that. Um, okay. Just let me know. We will definitely send the link for that one. Um, that sounds good. Now we can start. Teresa, do you want to start? Because the first one on the list is yours. Which one is it? I sent you the list. Uh, Cowtails. Cowtails is the first one. Yeah. Oh, cow tails. Yeah, um, it's spelled supposed to be C O W T A I L E S or L S. Well, I could have sworn it was T A I L. Yes. Oh. Yes, yeah. that's what that's what we remember, Teresa. Yes. And what is it now? T A L E S. Like like a story, a tale. Oh no way! Yeah. No, no. Yeah, and I'm, you should have plenty of residue, uh, Sandy. Did you? Um, every all all the residue and logos are in the logo residue folder, Brian. Yeah, you might want to bring that up. How much? I don't remember how much I found for that. Was it a lot? We had a bit. Okay. Yeah, we had we had a bit. That's a huge one. Look, this is a blog. That's one of the residues that we have in the folder. Uh -huh. Can you guys Teresa see? Found. Okay, the one of the residues in the folder. Yeah, Teresa yeah. found that. Yeah. Okay. So let me go. Let me go to your uh, photo uh, flicker. I don't know if there's a separate one that says residue or if it's logos and residue. So you have to look and see. So it's now tales as if it's a story tale. Yes. Yes. Now, and I got to be honest, I. Teresa found this on her own, but I think someone else did a video with this in it. Yeah. Yeah, I know this is which one are you talking about? Cowtails. I could have sworn yeah. this was an older effect. I think it was. But we can't find who originally did it. Because they didn't just label it cowtails, you know what I'm saying? It was probably yeah. like Multiple, so like grouped uh, in, like yeah, grouped, grouped in, in. Right. kind of like what Eva does. Yeah. So which one am I looking at? Um, Cocktails. Either logo EP two logos or EP two residue. Okay, I've got it. I've got it now. Yeah. There's six photos. So yeah. any of the letters? Let's just let's just because we're into logos and everything. Are any of the letters changed, or are they? Basic letters. It's just regular letters that they're they spelled differently now. Yeah. Right here, you can see a, a definite uh, conflicting. You know where you have it says one way cow tails with T A I L S, and then over here it's got T A L E S. Yep. 
Yes. Oh, it was good residue, Teresa. Great residue. Thank you. You know how I much I love some, I bought some cow tails and one was still <laughs> in the middle. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It is just looks wrong. Is Teresa's volume all the way up? Yeah, I have it up. Teresa, it's hard to hear you, honey. Huh? You're low. You're low. That's all. You're not. You're not robotic. Your your connection's beautiful. Is that better? Yes, it's a lot better. Thank you. I had my volume down. <laughs> Sorry. You had your volume down. It's okay. <laughs> okay my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody, check their volume. <laughs> all right. So the next. What's the next ME that we're looking at on the list here tonight? This is a. This is also Teresa's. Teresa's. Most of this is Teresa. So the next one is interview with a vampire costumes. A vampire. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's three photos in the photo album, right? Yes. Yes. Again, this is just residue showing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I was excited it, to find that. It says interview with a vampire. Yep. It does. With a vampire, not the vampire like it is now. Yeah, I, w I was happy with that one, Brian. So what is it? What is this thing exactly? Uh, oh, it's movie costumes. Yes, movie costumes. Yeah, and they even they even talk about it, saying interview with a vampire. Interview with a vampire. With yeah. a vampire. Yep. See it? You see That's it. good residue. Yeah. Great residue! Holy crap! Holy I mean, it can't be. It can't be no more. Than, I mean, that's like right in your face, Brian. Right there, you know. Right. It is. It's very good. I'm, it's I'm it's, it's it. kind of awesome. I would be too. Did I ever did I send you the link for it or is it just the screenshot? Uh, I got the, the photo I got the photo screenshots. Okay. So, so what next, are we looking at? Next What's next is on the list? A magazine ad. You're looking for a magazine. Oh yeah, the ad. mag that's Yeah, look also, at the mag Go ahead, I'm sorry. It's okay. I was just gonna say that's also interview with a vampire. That's all. Oh. That's what the eye wave is. Interview with a vampire okay. magazine ad. <laughs> yeah, and that's that a famous, that famous designer, too, guys. Very famous designer who did that. Okay. Did we already show it? Yeah, I must have shown it already. The, the costumes. I, um, we did. The, the first image he showed was the magazine ad. I'm sorry. Okay. That was the magazine ad, the first image. So the next one is Monopoly. You're looking for Monopoly residue. Uh, Monopoly. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, Teresa found all this residue. Nice. Is that the one where oh. they were having the competition? <clears throat> just for any any new viewers out there who are just coming into the Mandela effect for the first time, um, as you'll find out more and more, you're not going to find very much about um, like pictures with the Monopoly man uh, having a monocle, but Teresa was lucky enough to find some of these. And as you can see at a party, I guess it's a, a Halloween party maybe, mm -hmm. uh, this guy right here has a monocle and he's dressed up like the Monopoly Man. Yep. Again, more Monopoly Man monocle. Wow, that's, I wonder if that's Photoshop, but it's still, wow. How'd you find that? How'd you find uh, that? I just search and search and search. You know, it just comes to me, Brian. I just uh, so that so that actually, in my skill. that actually was a baby with an ultrasound, and they found a, a yeah. it would look to be a monocle on the eye. Yep. Oh, there's that's, a tattoo. Yeah, that's a tattoo. I was like, oh yeah. my god! Wait, with the tattoo, there's wait. Go back to the tattoo. The tattoo has the monocle. It also yep. has double. It also has a double double dollar yeah. sign. Double at double um dollar on the 
Double mark on the dollar, yeah. That's double residue. <laughs> You're right about that. That was a good one for me, Brian. Another monocle, that's, that's a score. So what's, uh, good job. Thank you. So we got Monopoly. Old Earth Residue. Old Earth Residue, and this is from Fiverr? Well, yeah, well, I found it in Fiverr's video. He didn't notice it. <laughs> That's funny. He didn't notice that he had Old Earth Residue. That's funny. Okay. There it is, right there. Oh. So there's there's two images of it. It's got, like, South America underneath North America. That's what it's supposed to be represented there. And the second image. Hang on. It's. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. There yeah. They're smaller. Now oh, this wow. one. This one isn't from Fiverr. This is what I found. I just found this one on my own. That is pretty cool. Cause you can see Florida right here. And then there's. Um, South America is actually back this direction. So yeah, Florida, I remember was like. Probably a, a quarter or a third of the way into South of America. This looks wrong now. Yeah, it does. It looks really wrong now. So next is Uncle Sam. This is all Uncle Sam. Oh, there's also an old earth in here too. But Oh, the Grateful Dead Uncle Sam. There you go. Yeah. And it's spelled G-R-A-T-E. The wrong way, yeah. People remember G-R-E-A, yeah, E-A-T. Well, I can't even talk right now. They oh. remember it the other way. Great. As them, them being great. There's the That's, flag. Yeah. Good residue there with the red under the blue. Mm -hmm. Now, this one um, is from our show last time where if it walks like a duck, I'm just showing the old earth residue on the flag. Oh, okay. I didn't even know, realize that from last week. Yeah, right. that's in the wrong folder. It should have been the old earth folder. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that, about the duck one. If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, and, you know, whatever. Looks like a duck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it must be a duck. Yeah. It, now it swims. Yeah, it now it's like a duck. Swims. Yeah. And we talked about the Scooby Doo mystery van. The R and the Y is merged in mystery. Mm -hmm. The Teresa, next image. You the okay, Chris? Teresa? Huh? Hey. Yeah. You want to? You want to? Um. Talk about. Let's see. We have a clock costume residue by you. Oh yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I think that's a, after a movie, didn't um, Sandy reminded me that I didn't know that was from a movie. I just saw it as a costume. But um, what was the name of the movie, Sandy? It's from Beauty and the Beast. Yes, yeah, see, and I never seen oh. Beauty and the Beast, so I would have known that. <laughs> it's there. Oh, no. you're gonna look up Beauty and the Beast. I didn't, I, was gonna see, I didn't see it on Flickr. So what is the uh, what do you what is it you were saying? It, oh, here. Where the I'll numbers see. are. I'll send it. To, look up Beauty and the Beast and look up the clock character so they can see it. And I'll send it to you, Brian. I thought you. I thought it was in there. I didn't see it. So what? What are we looking at the residue with Beauty and the Beast clock? Well, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you the image Teresa found. But look up Beauty and the Beast and find the clock character so people mm -hmm. know what you're talking about. Yeah, his name is Cogsworth. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, you see it? I just texted you the image of that Teresa found. But hold on a minute. Something's wrong with his short hand on, on the clock. Oh. Did you guys notice that? No, because like I said, oh. I've never seen the movie. I'm sorry. No, listen, I'm telling you, I think I just found a brand new ME with Cogsworth. No way. <laughs> That's what funny. changed, Brian? The um, his the little hand uh -huh. on his face, the, the little hand, because you know the big hand, the little hand is supposed to be his mustache. Yeah, he's got a separate mustache. No, he's got some kind of like 
circle that's around the, the short hand now. Look at it if you don't believe me. I see it. I, I don't know if that's like a, a dimple or if it's part of the, the, the hand. No, I think I never, it's part I of the hand. It looks before. weird. I've never seen that before. But what were you pointing out about this one? Oh, you have to see the costume. I sent it to you. Oh, the costume. Okay. Yeah, the costume has the original clock on it. Okay, can, can you send it in the group thing? Um, it's, it's between... Oh, you mean... Oh, in there? All right. In the, in the group text? Yeah, hold on a minute. I gotta go find it again. So it was a Beauty and the Beast cost, clock costume? Yeah. What if I could just... And, and what is the residue with it, or what's the thing? You'll see. It's a, it's the clock face. It's it's correct. The way we remember it, it's residue. You'll see it. Now I gotta yeah, find it. it. See, that's the thing. That's, Finding these images is ten times harder for iPhones on here. Doing it this you way. You guys realize what I'm talking about here with the shorthand? It now has like a a cog, like a um, you know how you. You, you turn a uh, one of those things like on the back of a, of, of a mouse or something like that, and it'll scoot along. It's a it to you. like a mechanical lever thing is now on his face. That's that's really bothering me. I don't know why it just sent you two images. It should have just sent you the one. Ignore the other one. Okay, Sandy, can you send it on the text message I meant in the group text? Oh, in the group text. Yes, yes. Because I have oh. it zoomed in, so if any new photos that come in will come on over here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. Okay, it's coming in now. Okay. There you go. The clock. We're looking for the correct clock now on the Cogsworth. I just sent it to you. I don't know why it's not coming through. Are you just in treases? No. Oh, there we go. It takes a second. Oh, wow. Perfect. Yeah, that's 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 what I remember. The um, the Roman numerals were all upright, and it actually says I V instead of four eyes. Isn't that great? Yeah, fantastic. So I'm wondering if you don't have the other. I'm wondering if those three were added. I'm going to send you those residues too. Okay. Let, let's go ahead and. Um, the Let's next the, old the next McDonald residue McDonald. I'm sending to you now. Teresa, your messages to him are being displayed on the show. Just to give you a heads up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My bad. Okay. Yeah. How are they being displayed? <laughs> Oops. Oops, yeah. Okay, so this is the next one. I just sent it to you. Okay. And the one after that, the Chick-fil-A, I'm sending to you too. Okay, so we're looking at old, old, old MacDonald. MacDonald. MacDonald, yeah. MacDonald. So what do you guys? I thought that was a good one. I really yeah. like that residue. Was it old McDonald or old MacDonald? That's what's weird. Is some people I, remember it both ways. What do you I, remember, Sandy? It's both ways for me. It's weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going both ways, and I'm like, okay. Well, let's see if I can find yeah. residue. And I'm like, okay, there's Mac. <laughs> Vintage. Oh, McDonald. Yeah, it's bizarre. There's Chick-fil-A with a C without the K. That's the way I remember it. I love that residue. I found that. I worked there, and my, my own name badge changed. That's you scary. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Because what's weird here is, that, you know, the person who wrote this, mm -hmm. you know, they obviously looked at it before typing it out and yeah. changed in the picture. Good residue. Good catch. Thank you. That was fun finding that one. Good okay. so, so now we're looking at some logo changes here. And the first one we have is Cadillac Escalade. Does anybody remember these letters being all merged up together? I yeah. would tell you, Brian, not to go by the list, but go by what you see in the folder first. Because all, all right. the logos are in the same folder. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
All right, so we're, they're going to be a little bit out of order, order uh, so sorry about that, guys. So what's with uh, – we pointed out something with Oric. Oric is the first one on the list. Yeah, what I would do is to make it easier on everybody so they don't see everything at once, click on the first logo and then just hit the arrow sideways so we can focus on one at a time. That's fine. Are these residues? Oh, yeah. No, we were just showing how it's changed. Yeah, the like, it, it, like or it just looks weird to me. The O the and the R, R. The R especially. Yeah, that's – look how the K is, folks. You see how the K um, is straight? That's how the R should be. And the O looks like it made a dent in the R. But are getting um, buddy, buddy. <laughs> what? I said they're getting buddy, buddy with each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess so. Another major one we have is STP. Yeah, I, I saw that. But I don't remember the, T be, the top of the T being waved. And I don't remember the P having a point like Kia does now. Right. It, so the P has a point. Let me trace this one. Can you guys, I don't know if you guys can see the magnifying glass right here. Are yeah. you able, you're able to see my cursor? Yep. Okay, so connect the dots. La, 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 la. Connect the <laughs> dots. La, 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 la. Cur a little wavy right here. And Wait the, a minute. The T has a point right here. While you're doing that, do you remember break the friction barrier or breaks the fi friction barrier? I thought it was just break. Break the friction barrier with STP. Uh, let's see. Break the friction, bar friction barrier. You may have to put break. It. You may have to force break. Break the friction barrier. Um, I have to put STP maybe. A lot of images. I don't know. Go to the images. Okay. So now I mean, it says, I mean, <laughs> it says it breaks the friction, friction, the fiction, friction, I guess, the barrier. Add to your oil. I can't pronounce anything tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now there's there's multiple logos for Honeymade. Yeah, Honeymade has gone through some some changes. Yeah, I have I have Logopedia, but well, first of all, I don't remember the Y and the D touching there, and they've always touched, but that's not the big one. Yeah, if you go to Logopedia for Honeymade, I'll be able to point out things a lot easier. First of all, so that's the original one that you showed first. Right. The, the second one. Oh, the Y and the D is merged. What? Yeah, hold on. So the third one is the one that bothers me the most because it's from 2013. It's been, you got to scroll down, Brian. Oh. That's been the logo since 2013. I don't remember it looking like that. The the I has a has a droplet on top. Yeah, it has a drop and then the E is broken. The E is broken. It just... I don't remember that since 2012. Yeah, I don't remember that either. It's more the time. 2012. I don't remember looking like that. Right. This, this one. Oh my God. Wait. Snap on? With the dash in the O. No, but the other thing I noticed is the wrench coming out of the S. Yeah. That wrench wasn't there. Yeah, the wrench wasn't there either. And if you go to Logopedia, hang on. Snap on. You're not going to believe how long the logo's been like that. How long? No, no, no. At least, wait, at no, least, no. At least 2013. That's the oldest image I found like that. No, no. It says 1997 at, at least. At least. Well, there you go. 19, right here. It says 1997 Snap-on, and the O has a cut in it. Like a power symbol. Yeah, no, it was not like that. I'm sorry. No, no, the wrench wasn't there either. This is new. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I saw that. I have a picture in the logo folder of a truck I saw, and I was like, "You got to be kidding!" Did, did you when you <laughs> when you saw it? Did you notice the wrench? Yeah, I did. I did. 
No, the, about I'm it. telling you, the wrench was not there. I the, the wrench was that wasn't there, and that dash was not inside the O. It no, it was, no, it wasn't. Nope. Not especially not since the nineties. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got that one traced. Okay. So next, next fold uh, in the folder. We're not done with the logos folder. Okay, what's next? Nexus. The X's are completely connected. Connected since, Nexus. Since 1979. Now, what, 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 explain, explain to the folks, because I don't know what Nexus is other than a phone. That's what what are they talking about? <laughs> Nexus is a salon hair care brand. So shampoo is... Nexus, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Nexus was a tablet. That's with one X. The two X's is the hair salon, uh, shampoo, conditioner. Okay. Teresa found this one. Activia, the I and the A's completely merged and the A's okay. are broken. No, 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 no. The A's were not broken before. Look at the I at the end. I remember the I and the A being merged, but the A's were never broken. Teresa, you are so quiet, I just have to say. What? Yeah. Why? <laughs> He said, you're so quiet. And you're like, what? Uh, next one is DHL. My yeah, blood I don't fun. remember the D. I don't remember the D being broken like that. I don't remember the line going through it. And it's been, that's the one that's been like, I'm losing, I'm, I'm mixing up the years. You can look on Logopedia. That's been like that a very, very, very long time. Yeah, it's got a line break through the D, the H, and the L. I don't remember that. And it's been like that forever. Forever. It was just a normal DHL. Yeah. That D wasn't open like that. I don't remember that. All right. Uh, I think see. the logo PD is in that folder somewhere to show you the years. Okay, Dodge, so Dakota. Dodge, Dakota, the D's. It's the D's, Dodge and Dakota. The, D's are, the D's are broken. Yep. So you talk... Mobile gas. I want to ask the chat. Do you remember that being one word? Because I don't. Mobile no, gas. It was, no, it was two words. It was two words for me. Um, we didn't even get that. There's bear yep. with yep. the cutouts. Yep. I talked about that before on my channel. Um, but the, I don't remember the R being so wavy at the bottom the last time we talked about it. I, I I don't recall this R being like that, but the cut the three cutouts. That's no. Mm -mm. There's the Escalade. Oh All my right. God, guys! This has been merged forever. The C, the A, the L, the A have been merged forever, and, and they're the open. A's, and the A's are broken. Yep. What that's are they? That's a floor mat. That's why it looks like it's uh, woven. No, they, guys, look, guys. You have, if you any if you know anyone that owns owns a Cadillac Escalade, go check it out for yourself. So that way you can uh, get a hands on look at it and share with your friends. It's changed. There's an STP. Looks like a patch. Yeah. Yeah, the T was normal. Yep, the T was normal. No, wait, okay. okay, you telling me the edge has cutouts now? Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No, here's the crazy part. The edge is normal now, but the 2013, 14, and 15 had this logo. Yeah. I've never seen that before, and it's on cars that are four to seven, eight years old. That's crazy. So it's only on the 2013 model, right? No, 2013 through 2015, I okay. believe. Another one is the all-wheel drive sport. That's um, the, that's the, that's also the edge. That's on the other side of the edge. Wow. With the P and the R and everything's merged, it just looks nice. so weird. I don't know if that's a Mandela or not, but no, just I can I can I can tell you for a fact that Snap-on is Mandela. This wrench wasn't there before. Yeah, no, and neither was the dash yeah. like that. I don't remember them. Okay, there's the edge. The that's how it is now. Oh, that's how it is now? So they covered it up? Yeah, they changed it, yeah. 
<laughs> covered it right. up. I keep looking at honey made pictures. Uh, okay, so there's the, there's the DHL. There you go. The line has been there since 1983. 1983. And look at worldwide. Like the way the I don't know. Oh, the R, the broken R. Yeah, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right to me. I'm sorry. The Ford Escape, the ES is merged. And, and the AP. And the AP. Well, I don't know if that's because it's on the metal. Wait till you get to the images. Okay. You know, like sometimes it sticks together because... Um, Escalade. No, the Escalade wasn't merged. Come on. No. Uh, the metal for the cars sometimes is merged so it sticks together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to actually look at the images, like the, the uh, logo pings and There's stuff. There's a broken P. Yep, that P's broken. Wow. That's the truck I wow. saw. No, I'm telling you, snap, the, the, the Snap-on did not have a wrench. That's the edge now. Well, There's Auric with the... Now, check out the K on the top of that Auric. Yeah. That looks weird, weird to me, too. But that was some residue for you of the straight R. Yeah, the straight R. I remember it had a straight R. Oh, that's that's all. that might be the 2013 edge. I, I No, I do like that. You know what that reminds me of? The DeLorean. The, the DMC DeLorean Motor Company, if you look at the DeLorean, it has... Let me show you a picture of the DeLorean DMC. Hang on. I'll show you the logo. Hey, guys, if I'm getting the... I just want to say, if I'm getting the years wrong and stuff, I'm sorry. We've been holding on to this stuff for two weeks now. I am dealing with yeah. so much residue. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an overflow of stuff. Yeah. I just can't. <laughs> Would you, you know what's weird? I'll try to ignore my residue. <laughs> I'm not trying to ignore it. <laughs> Sandy. Sandy, you know what's yeah. weird? About, I know we're off on a tangent here. Do you, do you realize the D and the C make another M? When you put yes. them together? If you, yeah, if you put them together, yep. I didn't know if you noticed that or not. But I don't remember this logo on, and it's been all over the cars for years. Yep, and not to mention Ford still has that crazy pigtail. Curly Q. It's a pigtail curly Q on the F. Looks like yes, an upside yes. down six. Yeah. <laughs> the O is cut out right there. And the R looks like an X. Yep. There's another snap on for you. So snap on to a Slim Jim or just snap into that a. That might be residue if you zoom in. Or snap into it. Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, say so, so Granger, the R, A, and I is completely... Okay, you're going to go back to the residue. <laughs> yeah, Granger, the R, A, I is merged. Okay, so the Teresa saw the, the crunch berries. The R's are all... I don't know if it's a logo change, though, because we couldn't find it. But the R's are all falling into the... Like, the bottom R's are going into the image. The top R is going into berries. It's weird looking, Brian, and I've had them up there a while. My crunch berries and above my desk, I keep cereal, you know, like for food. Yeah. And it changed on me, like seriously. It's been sitting up there for a while. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Because I was trying to clean up my cereal boxes, and I noticed it. And I was like, uh-uh. Wait till Brian sees it. <laughs> it's weird looking. Crazy, man. Yeah, they See it? Yeah, I see it. Um, it's changed again. Man. There's more STP. Just showing that it's not, you know, that is definitely the logo. It's from the website. No. Not that I remember. Yeah, that, that's that's not, I don't remember it like that. The STP again. And the Dodge. I don't know. I'm 50-50 on that one. Look at the E on that one. That was a car in front of me, by the way. I took a picture of that car in front of me. Yeah, the E, I mean, the D's and the E's, what's up with that? And how come the G isn't cut out? I don't know. Notice the G and the O. All right, so there's the escape in a actual drawing, and it's the E and the S that's merged. And the A and the P. And the A and the P. <clears throat> a lot of logo changes. There is, and there's more. There's still more on this list that we haven't even hit yet. So there you it's go. It's been going 13. It, Edge was like that in 2013. 
Okay. Rite Aid has the weird R now. Oh, no way. No, no. Yeah. No, it was <sighs> a, no, that was a regular R. <laughs> what happened and what happened to the dash? It had a dash. Yeah, Rite Aid? Yeah. Yeah. I know it did because I went there when they went out of business and I remember the dash. I went there and bought a whole bunch of stuff from Rite oh, Aid. Oh my god. Okay, now Yeah. I'm now, Sandy, now you forced me to look at Logo BD on this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> funny, Brian. Oh, no. Since yep. 1996? Since 96, the R has been like that. No way. Yes, yeah. Way. You know what That's else? You know what? Let me show you what else took on that, that crazy R. Oreo. <laughs> Wait, can Everybody you go back to the wait, wait, wait. Can you go back to Right Aid? Yeah. Go back to Logopedia Right Aid? No, Logopedia. Like hit the back button. I have to tell you, I had a Right Aid around the corner from me growing uh -huh. up. And this is horrible, but I know it was years ago because my grandmother used to send us to Right Aid to get her cigarettes before they had a law that you couldn't sell them to children. As long as we had a <laughs> note, they would sell them to us for my grandma. Mm -hmm. That says the logo's only been like that since 96. I claim BS because that was the logo back then in the 80s. And now in this timeline in the 80s, it was a different logo. So that's oh, a change wow. too. That's a change for me too because the red and blue was the logo in the 80s for me. Yeah, and, and I also want to point out that the R is directly above the A and there's a raw thing going on with a lot of logo changes. Yep. I see the connection with Ra, the, uh, the Egyptian Egyptian sun god. Yeah, I'm sorry that image was so bad. I mean, I, I literally took it through my windshield when it was raining, so I'm surprised yeah, it, you got you were able to see it that good. So there, there there's some logos I think we missed. Um, Pearl Vision, and I I uh, Yaris Toyota Yaris. We didn't look at that one. Yes, and Rain Man. If you want to just Google them real quick, I forgot to write Google. I'm yeah. sorry. It's oh my God, I'm a new, new at, notice, guys, this raw connection and AR. It's happening a lot in logos. Look at the ARS. Since 99. Yaris, the A and the R joined. And the R and the S. Yep, and the R and the S. That's just so weird to me. Since 99. Okay, so. Rain Man. Rain. Google Rain Man. Rain Man? Yeah, Rain Man, the movie. What happened in the movie? The RAs merged, Teresa said. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, what are the one of the uh, covers is merged. I just don't know which one it is. There it is. On the Blu-ray cover, yeah, and the MA is merged too. Yeah. And then the last one is in a separate folder. The um the world pants. No. Yeah, it's no, merged everywhere, it, Brian. So it's retro. Apparently, this effect is retroactive on all these older things. Mm -hmm. That's hard to believe. But what I was going to say was, if you look at Oreo cookies, and, and, and we'll look at that in a second. Um, okay. Remind me, Sandy. Or, well, go, Oreo go, go to Oreo. All right. So the, uh, Pearl go Vision. To, oh, yeah. Pearl Vision. Yep. It really bothers me seeing it with an E at the end. Oh, man. If you it look really at Pearl, bothers me. Pearl Vision has, is P-E-A-R-L-E -E -E Vision, but that's not the big change for me. I, I, that, I remember it like that. I know some people remember it the other way. It, it, it could, I, it's kind of 50-50 for me at this point. But from 99 until present, basically, well, 2013, but I still see it in some parts. I've never seen that new logo. No, look at the A, the A and the R is merged. And the L. The R and the L is merged, too. With a line. That's so weird. Does that not look weird to you guys? I mean, you Earl. see that? Pearl Vision has been merged since, like, that timeline. And it says Earl. Oh. 
Teresa, it's easier for me to just say I honestly don't so, know. Another one that I noticed was... <laughs> Can I say it? Uh, you know at the end of every Raymond episode, does everybody remember that TV show, Everybody Loves Raymond? That's a folder in the um in the, oh, in the Flickr. Yeah. Well, it's, I, it's, I, I, I used to love that show. That was my grandfather's favorite show, too. It's called EP2 Pants. <laughs> okay. It's not in there. It should be. I uploaded it. Oh, I'll just Google it. Okay. So th at the end of every show, there was this world pants that would come up picture. Apparently, world pants has changed. Let me see. Raymond. It's at the end of every show. Um, it is a logo. Okay, actually, worldwide pants. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Worldwide pants now has this broken A. I noticed that and I thought it was strange. See, it's a pair of pants, so I'm not sure. I know. It logically your your mind wants to say that hey, it's always been like that because the pants are there. But I I kind of remember a regular A there. I kind of do too. It's just the world in the uh, worldwide. I know it's messing me up right now. I, I hate I it. I honestly, I honestly can't tell you definitely or not. All right, so we have. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go off to off list for a second. Brian, Teresa wants to ask you something. Teresa, ask him. Brian, um, you know the golfer Tiger Woods. Yeah. Okay, I noticed he's on a Wheaties box, but wasn't he at one time sponsored by Frosted Flakes? Because remember, remember Tony the Tiger, and they would have they would have um, Tiger Woods on the box, you know, because the Tiger, you get it. Yeah. But now you can't find anything about him being sponsored by um, Frosted Flakes. Well, you know what I remember. I don't ever remember people being on the cover of Frosted Flakes, but he may have been in a commercial with him. That's what I'm trying to find out. But I remember the tiger because you have Tony the tiger and then you have the golfer tiger. So they wanted to make a play on it. That's what I was trying to find out if maybe we can find something. Well, why don't we ask the chat? Guys, do you remember anything like that? And if so, or if not, um, do you, do you remember um, Frosted Flakes ever having people on the cover of the, of the cereal box? Personally, I only remember Wheaties having athletes on cereal boxes. But I kind of do remember a commercial with a, with a cartoon character, Tony the Tiger, and Tiger Woods. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that. Anyway, you know he's affected because he has a blue nose now. Yeah, I found him with bl a black nose, but he has green eyes. Oh! <laughs> I found it. We have to we have to talk about all these weird animals. You want to send it to the group uh, messaging, Teresa? Frosted flakes, the Tiger Woods enigma. Oh, I found it. All right, we have that's fine. Send it to me. We have all these animals to go through real quick. Yeah. Is this going to have to do, um, Sandy? I found we'll it. it on time. Okay, we, have to keep, we have to keep okay. going down the list. Here, look at this. And the first one we have is a comet moth. That's fine, Teresa. When I, I'll get to it when I can. Well, actually, before we get to the animals, there's something I need to say in the animals section. All right. Need, we just wanted to point out that Need Input and Brian Stavely said in a show that birds chirp loudly between 1 and 3 a.m., no matter where you are in the world, for I some weird that. reason. I want to ask the chat if they've noticed that. Yeah, because uh, I, I live in the city, so we don't get many birds I chirping. See I see you. I'm showing the resident now, Teresa, you? the Frosted Flakes. Um, Tiger Woods Enigma. Yeah, see what it says? It says Frosted Flakes, the Tiger Woods Enigma. But what yeah. does the article say? Sports can oh. be tough to wrap your head around sometimes. What does the article say, Teresa? What's the enigma? 
Um, anybody know. else notice the? Does anybody else notice the birds chirping loudly at one to three a.m.? Um, I do. Anybody else? I don't because there's not many birds awake here. here I'm going to send you the. I'm going to send you guys the link of the article. Okay. okay. Why would it say frosted flakes? The tiger was enigma. Why would it say that? Right. Uh, well, that's why we would read the article, but we don't really research here. stuff on the show. All right, I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Brian, if you want to just go to the animals folder and not buy the list again and just Okay. Let's talk through. about these animals here. Uh, yeah, just go to the folder and, and pick click the first one and we'll go with the arrow again. Okay, that's fine. So the first one we have is this it's, lizard. What is this? It's an aqua blue iguana. Wow. I found that in, one, Sandy. Yeah, they come in aqua blue now. Yeah, Teresa found that one. Uh, yeah, but there's another color it comes in too, that weird greenish color. Actually, I found that one, Teresa. It says oh, the greenish S. one. Aqua blue guana. Oh. That one's mine. So is the somebody, purple somebody, squirrels in PA. Somebody let a kid have some spray paint here. No, 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 no. They were researching. It was on the regular news, Brian. <laughs> there's a purple there's actually a purple squirrel. Purple squirrel. Wow. Yeah, the there's squirrel. multiple. Now the sea angel, that's true. Oh, what? Oh, it's a swimming sea slug. And it's a predator? Despite its size. That's, that's insane. Teresa found a lot of these. That's the link if you want to check out what that's about real quick. Thanks, Teresa, for the find. You, that, that was good you found that. Um, You're welcome. So you we're found looking at another one, a vulturine... Guinea oh. foe, right? Yeah, all the ones with the number is Teresa. Okay. This one's guess so I was cute. on a roll. The Mary <laughs> River turtle possesses a valuable skill of double respiration, and I can't read the rest because you have it below. And where's Word. striking fringe? Check out the check out the turtle's eyelashes. I see that. That is so Ooh. cute. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 saddleback, the saddleback caterpillar. That's Teresa. That's funny. I like that one. You that, know, I'm just gonna say when I when they're mine because the rest are Teresa. Let's just say it that way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton. It's a Teresa, Teresa show tonight. <laughs> yeah. Say, say they're all Teresa. <laughs> so true. Yeah, because the black, the black alligator lizards. They come in all different colors. So she found a black one. Black lizard, yeah. Black lizard, That's yeah. cool. And, and San Sandy did a good job uploading these. So thank you, Sandy, for doing that. Um, no problem. So now, thank you, mine. Sandy. Thank you. That's mine. This is an unnamed, tr they're calling it the troll plant hopper. The American <laughs> rain, well, no, that's the American rainforest plant hopper. I'll get to the troll one. Sorry. Uh -huh. That's the American rainforest plant hopper. They kind of look the same. Okay, I've got to spin through some of these. Yeah, Pacific this is spine lump sucker. Lump sucker. Has a cup on its belly to attach to surfaces. Imagine putting that on your window. Could you imagine? Oh. There's the purple squirrel again, spotted in Pennsylvania. Purple squirrel. I've got to get a hold of one of these guys. The, there's the comet moth. The comet moth. Found. The biggest butterflies in the world found in Madagascar. Uh, this, the lamprey has a face a mother could love. Oh, uh, it looks like oh, a baby. It no, it looks like a jigglypuff. <laughs> uh, jigglypuff. <laughs> yeah, look at one of those. Yeah, show people what a jigglypuff is in case, in case they don't know Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. Yeah, jigglypuff. <laughs> jigglypuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is mine. Blue cows exist now. The Latvia blue cow. They're actually yeah, blue. There's better images where you can well, see. Yeah, I heard a bluebell ice cream, but the, the cow I thought was normal. Yeah, no, there, there's blue cows now, like actual blue cows. There's a lot of residue for that in, in that folder, Brian. Well, apparently there's blue cow ice cream. <coughs> the world now, is turning blue. Type in Latvia, L-A-T-V-I-A, Latvia blue cow.
L A T V I A. Latvia blue cow. Does Tony oh, Tiger have a red nose? What? Well, you know, well, you know we have you know we have blue do blue dogs too, right? Have you heard about blue dogs? I have not. Brian, you're better off just looking at my images. I have like three or four of them. Yeah, I know. Hey guys. Look, look, we got blue dogs. Are they dyed though? I know they dye the dog's hair. No, blue dogs were spotted in India. Uh oh. That's weird. All right. So next one. Uh this greater sage grouse looks greater than the other birds. He he's got a coconut bikini on. <laughs> 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 All right. I don't know what this guy is. That's a blue that's one of the blue iguanas. No, that's Godzilla. They just shrunk him down. <laughs> <laughs> I a just found a new face, effect. A red faced monkey. Okay, Teresa, save it for the next show. <laughs> red faced monkey and this one's blue weird. Part. Teresa found this. It's a blue parrot fish. Look at the face. Zoom in on the face. It looks like a parrot. Oh what? I've never heard of a parrot fish actually looking like a parrot. That's the uh, purple. Uh, that's the same thing. Okay, there's more blue cows. Blue cows. A marine iguana. The only aquatic iguana in the world. The albino pink belly side, Nick. It looks uncomfortable to, to exist. Spanish dancer fish. <laughs> uh, this one looks like a chia pet. Yeah, doesn't it? The vulturing guinea fowl. <laughs> The There's the purple squirrel, squirrel again. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's an ad for them. Scroll in. Read Blue it. Blue cows. Latvia. You won't believe it. Scroll down. You won't. You won't believe it until you see it. Latvia. That's that's like their 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 draw for you to come to their country. Wow. They have blue cows. This is the <laughs> unnamed. Um, the unnamed. They're calling it the troll because of the the hair coming out of it. Oh. It really does look like a troll. I didn't think about that. I thought you were talking about like a troll under the drawbridge. No. And, and it's coming out of its butt, but it looks like it's coming out of its head. <laughs> well, wait, hold on. Is it coming out of its head or butt? <laughs> its butt. Its head is that yellow thing on the right. You see it? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it's unnamed. Oh, it's, oh, this... it's the Oreo milk frog. And Oreo the... milk frog, but he's got a blue mouth. That's so weird. Another purple squirrel. <laughs> Red lip batfish. This thing's so weird. Teresa found the weirdest animal I think in the world. Look at that. <laughs> She's got a red nose, too. I think they need to send him back to the factory. Yeah. This, oh, I don't even want to look at this oh, one. A fish hook ant. What? Yeah, I don't even want to look at that. Well, you, you guys know that... Um, what, what is it that has stingers now? Is it ants? Ants of stingers, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they had stingers. I thought they bite. I thought they bit too. They Some ants both bite and sting. Did you know that? Yeah, I did not know. I just thought they bit. No, it's like, it, a it, like for me, they, they always bit. But this... it's like, like fire ants have a stinger now. Yeah, this, it looks like a wasp now, without no, the wings. The, these were not my fire ants. All right, now I've got obsessed. Go back with to the ants. folder. Ants There's never had stingers in my reality, and I'm like neither. WTF here. Guys in the chat, what do you remember? Do you remember ants stinging or biting or both? What do you remember? Yes. Let us know. They always bite. bit. You know, you get bit by a fire ant. You don't get stung by a fire ant. Come on, we know that in the South. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing just looks like foliage. <laughs> it's a spiny-tailed gecko. I didn't even realize it was like a frog or whatever. Let me, 
it blended right in with the plants. There's a Latvia blue cow again. Okay, so we're done with the animals, right? Is that all? Yes, of them? that's all of them. All right. So, what do you guys remember? Do you remember Twilight Zone or the? Wait a minute. Twilight? No, you're missing a lot, actually. What am there I? There was a lot of pink ones. You didn't see the pink ones in there? No. Open the folder and just scroll in the folder. Okay, let me do that because sometimes. Or see if there's a second folder. You know, how sometimes it puts it in the second folder. All right, let me look. Okay. Because there should be pink ones. Well, there's a bat. You uh, see the bat? Stop. Scroll down. Where? The bat. There's two. Uh, there's. Oh, was that the? That was a different show. That was episode one. Week. That was last week. Yeah, you're right. Did you search EP two? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm in EP two. We we have a lot more to cover. I know, but we're missing. I'm gonna have to take stuff off the list then because you're missing a lot. No, um, no, we, we I shared. Oh. You're missing alligator lizards. You're missing pink lizards, boa constrictor, legless worm wizard. And it says yeah, wizard. Not, it's supposed to say lizard. I, I'm yeah. not seeing those. All right, I'm gonna take them off the list then. I see a bunch of red or um, purple squirrels. Yeah, it it. I uploaded them. I don't know what happened to them. You want me to send them to you real quick? If you want to. Okay, I'll send them. That's to you. fine. In the yeah, meantime, there's another thing I have to I, I have to ask you guys. If you remember the the new Spider Man movie that came out, it was a cartoon. Do you guys remember Spider Man into the multiverse like I do, or is it Spider Man that's, into the Spider Verse? You just skipped over multiverse. That's, a, that's the second one on the list, Brian. I swear <laughs> it was multiverse. Oops. Yeah, oops. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Oops. It's went out of order, that's all. All right, so. I'm sending yeah, you images. Yeah, wanted... Brian, what? I sent you residue from Ultiverse, or did I give it to Sandy? No. Sandy? It's in a folder, yeah, Teresa. There. There's, a fol there's a folder, Teresa. Is there one for Twilight Zone? There should be. There should be folders there for everything, Brian. I don't agree with that one. Brian, I'm sending you animals though, real quick. Yeah. Go, go to the go to the text messaging. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at it now. I'm just Dude, pink worm. What is that? What's that worm looking thing? The pink one. That's a legless lizard. No, it's a worm. No, that's a lizard. That is not a worm. That is a lizard. It's a legless Never lizard. Seen my life. Me either. That's why it's on this list. All right. Now, Teresa, uh, there's a pink boa constrictor now, and there's also a pink iguana. That's the one you found, Teresa. You found the pink iguana. Yeah, I thought one. that was pretty cool. Yeah. All right, one last picture, and then let's see. Pink so, human dragon on a leash. There you go. So you want me to forget the pink lizards and everything else? Uh, you have another pink lizard? Yeah, there's there's a few more. There's a pink lizard. Okay. It's actually pink right. and purple. There's the pink boa constrictor. And now there's alligator. Um, I've never seen these before. Alligator. They come in all different colors. Alligator lizards. They look like alligators, but they're Ooh. lizards. They're kind of cool looking. I want a pink bearded dragon. <laughs> No, that's a that's an alligator. <laughs> that's a very 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 small alligator, right? Right. <laughs> here's here's it in green. Um, but yeah, we can stop there. The other ones are yeah. just different colors. That's fine. We got okay. a lot to cover. Um, so the first Mandela effect. Um, we're gonna put the link in the description. It's the link is actually in the list, Brian. Um, to to Fiverr's video. This is weird. This isn't like a, um, this isn't a change per se. This is the Twilight Zone. I've always known it as the Twilight Zone. And I want to ask the chat, do you remember the Twilight Zone or just Twilight Zone? Because now it's both ways. No, it was always the Twilight Zone. It was the Twilight Zone for me too. 
And Teresa, in, in that folder, if, if the folder's there, like it's supposed to be, Teresa found that, that the Mandela effect made an excuse that, you know, certain for certain things they used the and for certain things they didn't. No, in my past, it was always the Twilight Zone. Different Not- series, like different throughout the years of reboot. I'm going to say the word season. rebooting it. Yeah. Every season, they would change it. Well, and- go on, Teresa. Because, because you guys got to remember, if you, I did. Okay, can I, can I go back to my post? Did you guys mind if I read my post? Your Are post you okay with that? A, there should be a folder with your post in it. But yeah, go ahead. I was no, no, no. I'm talking up. about. I want to read something that I posted in um, my group. Wait, that before my, you do, I, before you do, okay. Brian, go back to the last image. Yeah, let me, that, let me read to that's you guys. All, Teresa put it in the order of the seasons, so you can see the flip flop. Between the Twilight Zone and Twilight Zone. And again, this is Fiverr's Mandela Effect. Yep, Twilight Zone. No, the. No, the. And I want to show you, there's an image. I don't know if you already passed it. Um, you may have to go back from Fiverr's video. Keep going. <clears throat> Brian, keep going back. Back again? Yeah, keep going. Okay. I'm looking for the image. Hey, guys. Wait, I want to talk about this one image, Teresa. Hold Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Th- this image is from my Twitter. That's my banner. It used to say the Twilight Zone. Now it just says Twilight Zone. This, this might clarify it. But that's what... Teresa, that's what I was trying to explain to you. Your clarification is the Mandela effect making up an excuse so that it makes sense. In my past, it was never Twilight Zone. It was only the Twilight Zone. But go well, on, Teresa. All right. Explain what you were going to say. All right. Teresa, read your post. <laughs> okay, I did a post on April 1st. Um, because April 1st is when the original first, um, when Twilight Zone came out, um, some of them did. I put, um, is anybody watching the brand new 2019 Twilight Zone show tonight? 60, 60 Minutes with Jordan Peele on CBS tonight. Here's the breakdown of all of them throughout the years in detail. The original series was October 2nd. 1959 through June 19, 1964. It had five seasons, 156 episodes. The first revival was from 1985 to 1989. It had three seasons and 65 episodes. The second revival revival is from 2002 to 2003. It had, had only one season and 44 episodes. There also was a movie that came out in 1983 called Twilight Zone, the movie. I swear it sounds wrong. Then we come to 2019, which is today, April 1st. I'm not sure how many episodes there will be yet, but I have full detailed description breakdown of the first 10 or so far. So I put a lot of work into this, breaking down every single revival there was for the Twilight Zone. In this in this post, no, I do a lot of research into it. No, and it was the Twilight Zone, the movie, and now it's just Twilight Zone, the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, what I'm saying is, I think they switched it around on their on um, some of the um, earlier ones back in the 80s and 90s. All right. I don't know. You might want to look at the re- reboots and see how they changed. Yeah, that's fine. We have to kind of move it along. Okay. Uh, but I was right. proud of this post, Sandy. I put a lot of work into it on April 1st. Mm-hmm. I know. Thanks, I Teresa. Know. Thank you, Teresa. You're for, for, um, the, the next one, we're going to go back to your Spider-Man because there's a, uh, there's a folder of residue in there. Yeah, because I remember Spider-Man into the multiverse, and many other people do, too. What does the chat think? Guys, do you remember multiverse or Spider-Verse? 
what's strange is um, people are, are are putting in spider spiders of the multiverse, Spider Man into the multiverse. We watched this person here, Candace, put down. We watched Spider Man into the multiverse a couple of days ago, and suddenly he's obsessed with spiders and Spider Man. There's more. There's plenty more residue than that. So let's um, go on to the next one. What do you guys think? Just drop a comment down below if you can. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know what you think about that one. What what you remember. The next one is uh, Sheriff or Sher Sharif. Sheriff. Well, this is this is a Mandela effect by maybe it's Mandela. Um, she also has a video on it. Um, I, I'm going to get you all the links, Brian. Um, guys, in the chat, I want you to spell the word Sheriff. Brian, don't show the pictures yet. Oh. I want to see what they remember. And now you're showing it nice and big on the screen. <laughs> okay, how do, you, how do you spell sheriff? Yeah, guys, in the chat, I want you all to write the word sheriff. Is it, is it a spelling contest? Yeah, it's a spelling. We're doing a spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, so I'm not affected by this one. I'm not either. <laughs> uh, but she definitely is, and other people are. And I guess we'll find out tomorrow night if um, other people in the chat are. But sh there's residue. There is definitely residue of two R's instead of the one like it is now. Right. Who found this one? Maybe it's Mandela. Okay. Maybe it's Mandela. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's just the residue that Teresa and I found. Or actually, I think Teresa found all of it. That's a good one. Sheriff and company. Hmm. <laughs> Sheriff on the train. Gosh, it's hurt my head looking at it. Yeah. All right. So the next one's Thomas Rainey, Wonder Woman from dark to light blue, and the boots have white stripes now. Some remember all blue, and some all red. What do you guys remember? Dark. Uh, okay. Wait. Wonder Woman. Wait. Let's break it down first. So, um, we're gonna ask the chat. Wonder Woman's boots. What color do you remember her boots being? I personally remember them I all red. What about you, Teresa? I remember them red. What about you, Brian? I could have sworn they were they were like brown or black. Brown or black? That's a new one. No, okay. wait, no, 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 no. They had to be red. They were red, right. And now they're red with a white stripe. No way. And a white cuff at the top. See, look, here's here's Wonder Woman. Yes, that's play. what I remember. With the gold like on top, yes. Not so that. You're, you're telling me the Linda, what's her name? Linda what? Linda Carter now wears those. And I know yeah. her name Her name is spelled different now. She spells it with a Y. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, her name changed to Linda with a Y, Carter. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's huge. Let's look at these images here. Yeah, that's the that's the that's no. The you tell me the original Wonder Woman changed. Yeah. Now wait, we're not done with the blue. The, <laughs> There's the, more the, white the, stripe now. The the bikini <laughs> bottom, the bo the bottom of her, of her costume. Yeah. Um, it used to be a darker blue. Now it's a light blue. It, the the blue is a lot lighter than it used to be. Okay. People remember it matching the flag. Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. Uh, no, her boots look messed up now. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the, the, the blue. But the okay. boots 100% are different. Okay, so you guys can just put a vote down below. Thumb it up if you remember her wearing solid uh, red boots, maybe with the gold or just red boots all together. But now it's changed. I do remember the gold. I remember <laughs> the, the red and the gold like it, like it is in that other picture. Mm -hmm. I do too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say black. It's okay. Now, Teresa, I got to change the list again because it has question marks. 
Teresa found the next effect. Teresa, that's all you, girl. What? Lemon heads. Oh, I just thought they looked wrong. The name of it looked wrong. I thought it was lemon heads with an S. Heads. Yes, heads. But now it says lemon head. What do you yeah. remember, Brian? We have a folder. Lemon heads. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I lost it, Sandy. Okay. You lost the folder? You lost your oh. head? <laughs> I lost the Flickr folder. I got to get back into it. Hang on. Just Google EP. If you Google, it, not Google, if you go to the Flickr search and just type EP2, they yeah. all come up. Okay. Just go up to the top. <gasps> no, not Google. Boots. Brian, the gray search box in Flickr. What am I looking for? The gray search box in Flickr. No, I, I've got it. I've got, the, I've got the EP2 up now. What am I looking for in here? Lemon heads. Lemon heads. I found residue. It's right there next to Lucky Charms. Yeah, right, lemon heads, okay. Yeah. Lemon heads. It says lemon heads at the bottom. It's lemon head at the top. Right. It's now lemon head. Yes. Lemon that's, that's a huge one for me because I used to eat those all the time. Lemon heads. What do you guys remember in the chat? Do you remember uh, lemon head or lemon heads? Keep, keep calm and eat lemon heads. What are you sending me? Oh, uh, the boot, Sandy? Yeah. yeah. That, no, Teresa, Teresa, he just showed them on the screen. That's what I wanted him to show. Yeah, he already showed them. Yeah, the one oh. of them. Those are nice. Well, I just found them now. Yeah, he found them a few minutes ago on, on the air. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, next one. Lucky Charms. What color was his shirt, guys? Yeah, yeah. we had to ask the chat that. Teresa, what do you remember? What color was Lucky, Lucky shirt. shirt? Lucky. Not blue. I think it was green or gold. It it green. Was, I want to say it was like green, green or gold. Yeah, green or gold, but not blue. You, you weren't supposed to tell the chat. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, apparently he's always had a blue shirt now. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. It's okay. It's been a rough week for me. I'm sorry. Sandy, you, okay. put, you put the other cereal on there too, right? The Snap, Crackle, Pop. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's there. That's there. Yeah. I was going to talk about these That's together. the big one. All right, so Lucky Charms now has a blue shirt. Yeah. And he has a green, he has a green turtleneck. A green turtleneck for a blue shirt. Go figure, right? Uh, that don't look right. Uh, you know what it's like? He's colorblind, guys. He's always, he's always, he's always had the blue shirt. No. The letters. Uh, the K and the Y is K merged. The Y merged. Is that is that a new one? It's no. It's it's an old one because now it's not merged anymore. No, it's not merged anymore. And there's the residue of him with a green shirt. Green shirt. There you go. Yep. Okay. So the next one. What's next on the list? Well, next on the list was uh, Fiverr. Um, Marlboro, guys, you in the chat. Do you remember Marlboro making beer? So we're just, a you yes they, make beer? they make beer now. Well, they made beer. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of Mar Marlboro makes beer. What? Made beer. They don't make it oh, anymore. But I never, still, no. I've never. <laughs> you would think that would have had a placement in movies or something. Marlboro made beer. And notice that the Marlboro logo on the beer is the new one with the really tall L and B. Marlboro beer in the 1970s. What? It's a product that never existed for me. No. The company test marketed it, but ultimately shelved it. And oh, gosh. Brian, when you're done this, we have to go back to Wonder Woman. There's another change. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. What's the, what's the new change? Guys, you remember Wonder Woman having a, 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 um, a red, white, and blue stars and stripes cape? Oh, I remember, yeah, the big cape. Yeah, I don't remember her cape being like that. No. Just Google Wonder Woman when you're done. And, and Sandy, point out it's very extravagant, too, how big it is, the it's cape. It's extremely extravagant. Yeah, it's 
kind of like Elvis, <laughs> female Elvis. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's it's. You talking about the original Wonder Woman, like the Linda original Wonder Woman, Linda Carter. Yeah, wait till you see the cape. It's crazy. Go to images. Go to images. Yeah. It's way too much. Look, 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 right there. Do you remember? I, I don't remember that at all. One billion percent. I do not remember that cape. No, Superman had a cape. Not not her. She didn't have one. I don't remember don't that. I think she had a, like a little red one. A little, little red one. A yeah, little. to match her boot. Hey, to match her boots too. Remember? Yeah. I wonder if we can find residue like in a comic book. Brian, you able to bring up a comic book? To see comic books. I don't Usually know. Usually that doesn't change. Comic she books. Never a, she never she, had a cape. cape. Um, I, I don't remember. I don't. Rem I honestly don't remember a cape at all. Me either. I remember I a little know. red one sometimes. Like, why would she need a cape? She doesn't fly. I don't yeah, know. I know. That's what's weird. All right, but we got to advance on to the next one. Um, okay. We're losing track of time here. Okay, uh, so now okay. we're on um, Man uh, 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 Mandela Effect found by Mandela Affected. Um, it's Wizard of Oz. You want to go to Wizard no of Oz? Pay no attention to the, to, that man, to the man behind the curtain. We're asking yeah. in the chat if you remember... The man behind the curtain, or that man behind the curtain? Because awesome. I remember the. Yeah, I remember the too. Is it that man behind the curtain? It's yeah. that man. Yep. No, it was pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. And there's tons of residue, Sandy. That you um, did you upload them? I did upload it. Yes. I have tons, Brian. Sure. Bring your time now. Oh. The great Oz has spoken. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. No, no, it was. Yep. Uh, yep. It was Huge totally. Uh, we know. Uh, we yeah. shifted. We had to have shifted. See, so, so we you did. got that on here. Yeah. Yeah. There's it. It's, either, so it's, it's either man behind the curtain or Wizard of Oz. It's in there. Let's see. It, it's always been the for me. Me too. Who found that one? Uh, Mandela affected. Yes. Brian, it's in the there is a folder there. What's it called? You gotta scroll down. It's like Oz or Man. Oh, okay. Oz yeah. Batman, okay. Yeah. Okay, so there is residue in the Wizard of Oz. That's Teresa's post. Right to the man. Yeah, I'm crazy with that residue, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Got <it>, Teresa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Some of these are duplicates. Yeah, um, I don't know why it does that. I didn't upload them twice. They just no do that. To, to the man behind the curtain, L. Frank Baum, The Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. The man. It's easier just to say the man instead of repeating the whole thing. Yeah. The man, the man. It's all the man. All these people are oh, remembering man. it wrong. I'm thinking, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is jewelry and it's wrong. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Wizard of Ozzy. Oh man. All right. So the next one. That's the, a good one. Okay. So the next um, one is Easter Island. Uh, I, have to, I have to talk to you about Easter Island statues because I don't remember them having big old ears. No, I don't either, but Brian, Brian, I found two major effects with them. And Teresa found a couple effects with okay, them. Okay, what is it? So, look at my Easter Island folder. I, I'm going to ask the chat before. Do you guys remember them having eyes? Like white eyes. Painted in eyes. 
And do you remember them all frowning? Because I don't remember them all frowning. They're all frowning now. Oh, yeah. They, they look like they're frowning. Yeah. They're fr- and that's an old... They're all frowning. I, d- I don't remember them frowning. No. No, they had, they had straight faces, I thought. Now they're pissed. <laughs> well, yeah. look, at, look at the big old ears. Come on, they didn't have those big ears. Yeah, I didn't, don't remember the ears either. Look at those eyes. They're like creepy. They're so yeah. creepy. Yep. I don't remember the eyes, and I don't all remember. I can, all I can, when I, whenever I see these things, all I can say is, give me dum-dum. <laughs> <laughs> dum-dum for my gum-gum. It looks like they're looking up at the sky and frowning like something bad is coming. I don't like this. The sun. Yeah, I, do, I don't like it. They're crazy. No, I, mean, I really, say I really do think all these MEs are messages, guys. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I really think their messages that we're supposed to um, decipher. I really do. They're just all frowning. I don't remember. Brian, do you remember them frowning? There's no, the way. No. Go back. Go back. That's that's another change. They're unhappy. Teresa found hieroglyphics on, on the Easter Island statues. Yeah. That's crazy. The hieroglyphics on there. Now there's some residue of them smiling. I like that one. Yeah, me too. There's more hieroglyphics. Green hieroglyphics, man. More residue of them smiling. Mm-hmm. They're all frowning. I'm, I don't remember them frowning, and I don't remember any no. having eyes painted on. Residue of smiling. You can get that from Wayfair, I think. Yeah, they, I, they weren't smiling, but I, they had like straight faces, not frowning. I remember straight oh, faces. Oh, my God, no. No, yeah. you're right. They are that, frowning. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember them frowning. No. They're All upset. Right. That's a good one. Uh, Wonder Woman cape change. We talked about that. Matt Reed posted that. Mount, we are on Mount Rushmore. Ch- there's a couple new changes that Teresa and I right. noticed. All right, Mount Rushmore. What's with Mount Rushmore? Why don't you just pull up a picture of Mount Rushmore? Okay, I'll let you talk about it. Yeah, I mean, there is there is, yeah, there is the images. Picture. There, you know, our folder is close-ups, but if you want to just pull up one so they know that we didn't just take one. There's, yeah, a, folder. The There's a folder, yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called? EP2 Mount Rushmore. Not seeing it. Oh, God. All right, just pull up a big picture so we can zoom. Okay. So what are we looking at? The collar of George Washington? You're not seeing it in that image. It's the angle. Yeah, there's a collar. There's a weird shape in it. But look at um, Jefferson. His face is all... I mean, I know it's the rock, but I don't remember it looking like his face was cut up like that. Whose face? Jefferson, you guys like zoom in. That's like a really washed out picture. I don't know if you're going to say it. Without that folder, I'm going to send you the images, Brian. That's all right. It, because it's, it's, you got to have the right images with the right lighting. Okay, how about that one? That's a good one. Let me see. Yes, yeah, so you see how his face is all like crackled? I don't remember it looking like that. And you can't see the collar from that image. Uh, Tracy, do you remember what the shape was? For what? The collar of, of George Washington. It was like pointed, wasn't it? I don't I don't know. But I do know that the eyes go back pointed. to the eyes, Brian. That's fine. I'm gonna have to you, I'll let you talk about some things. I gotta let the show go on autopilot for a minute. I gotta, I gotta, uh, gotta call and tell my special lady goodnight. All right. Well, then can you yeah. at least pull up a, a put Mount Rushmore close up of eyes on the screen. What is it? The, the eye. Mount Rushmore close up of eyes. All right. Um. 
All right, zoom. Pick pick one that's really. Cl- yeah, right there. It's good. That one. Zoom in. They look, they look so real. They look so real because now there's a piece, a piece of stone sticking out of the middle. I don't remember that. I'm noticing that their eyes were looking more real and more real and more real. And it's because there's a piece of stone in the center to give an illusion of a pupil. I don't yep. remember that. Me either. No, I don't remember that. All right, well, I have a story to talk about that, that could be a change. I can talk about while you're gone. Hang on. Let, let's go ahead and... Um... Oh, I forgot to take this out. We're skipping one. I forgot to take it off the list. We have a, we have a, a couple major ones to talk about here. Yeah, uh, we do. We do. We want to just make your phone call real quick? Yeah. Okay, like. I mean, we could stop it here and start back up when you get off the phone. Hang on. Uh, how many more minutes would you say it would take to cover all these? Probably about 20. All right, let's go ahead and try to wrap it up. All right. Okay. Go, Sandy. Uh, all right. We're, so, um, Roy, what's that one? Um. Many people remembering Roy dying from a tiger attack, and he's still alive. That's all. Sing for Roy. Just asking the chat if they remember him dying from the tiger attack, or if they remember him surviving. I remember him dying. So do I. There's no real residue for this. It's just asking the chat. Um, Layla Mel- Melkier. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. We don't know who found this effect. She's the next one. No. The white tiger that attacked during Siegfried and Roy's show dies. Siegfried left and Roy seen in 2009. So the tiger that attacked... Hang on. Now, they're saying the tiger died. I'm saying that people remember Roy dying from the, from the attack. So do I. I remember. They made a big deal out of it in Vegas. Okay, so uh, Siegfried and Roy. Roy are a German-American duo of magicians and entertainers. Became known for their appearances with white lions and white tigers. Yeah. If that's not racist. <laughs> from, from 1990 until Roy's career-ending tiger injury on October 3rd, 2003, they, for, they formed Siegfried and Roy at the Mirage Resort and Casino and, and featured in Vegas, right? Yes. Yes. That's why Teresa remembers it so vividly. Um, Mirage is a very huge hotel here. By the way, if you bring up Mirage, I'm going to have to give you bad news. That's a huge one for me, too. It's it's merged. If you look at Mirage. Yeah, Brian, you might want to bring up Mirage. Yeah, the Mirage Hotel. Mm Mm-hmm. I just never showed you guys it until you said Mirage. I think the R and the A is merged. Yeah. I think we um, I think it is merged. Yeah, there's a few hotels here that I've noticed um, that are merged now. Mm-hmm. A few of them. All right. Um, so what do you guys remember with Siegfried and Roy? So did either one of them die from a tiger attack, or did neither one die? Okay. Because now they're both still alive, right, Sandy? Yes. Yeah. So I wish I could Layla. find some old newspapers. Layla Melchior. Is that, am I saying that right? Melchior. Melchior. Black Box Song Right Ride on Time. So if you look up the song, look up the song Ride on Time, because that's what it is now, but many people remember right, so you're just going to Google it. A Ride on Time. I don't know if I have a folder of residue. I don't know if we found enough. I have to listen. I don't to know that one, Sandy. I don't know the song. That's a thing. Mm-mm. It's not my type of music. Right. It's supposed to be right on time, and now it's right on time. 
Yeah. All right. So Jeffrey, Backstreet Boys versus the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, we have to ask the chat what they remember. Do you remember the Backstreet Boys or Backstreet Boys, guys? Yeah. I remember the Backstreet Boys. And they've always been Backstreet Boys. No, the. I don't know. This one's, I'm not affected by this one. I am. I remember the. All right. So, so do I. The so do I. Twins or Thompson Twins? Thompson Again, Twins without. I remember. Wait, what did you say, Teresa? With or without Thompson the Twins. The or no the? No the. Okay. See, I, I remember the Thompson Twins. Again, I'm not affected on this one. Uh, but what, but we're going to ask the chat. What do you guys remember? The Thompson Twins or Thompson Twins? Uh, another one is Recall Vector mentioned was Jeopardy or Je Jeopardy. Yeah, can you, guys, can you spell I Jeopardy to do for that. in the chat? Yeah, there's a folder, Teresa. Can you guys yeah. spell Jeopardy in the chat, please? Like the TV show mm -hmm. Jeopardy? Yes. I, for me, I'm not affected by this one. For me, it was Jeopardy. I'm not affected by this one either. Some people are spelling it J E uh, P A R D Y. Okay, blue mushrooms are a thing now. You <laughs> go milk cat mushroom. Yeah, Brian, you're going to show the residue for Jeopardy? Uh, where, what folder is it in? In the Jeopardy folder. All the Mandela effects <laughs> have their own folder. <laughs> Not seeing it. How that Brian? That you're not searching. Listen, go I to that gray know. box. Go to the gray box at the top. Okay. The search box. See it? Yeah. Type in capital E, capital P, two, search, and then click albums or photos. View. Oh God, eight okay, two thousand. It's, it's going to search everything. This is this is whatever you have labeled. Uh, I'm looking through here in your albums. I know Flickr has a bug where it doesn't always show everything. There is a folder for Jeopardy. Jeopardy. I don't know why it's not showing up. I don't know, but if you find it, let me know. Um, okay. We'll, All right, well then the now. next one, the blue mushrooms, um, look up indigo milk cat mushroom. They're edible. So they're right there. You can see them. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Indigo milk cat, an edible mushroom. The indigo milk cat mushroom is native to North to America. <laughs> <laughs> they're native to here. Has anyone ever had food with blue mushrooms? Please tell me. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to turn into Super Mario. I know. Seriously. I sure, I sure would like to punch through bricks, you know? And yeah. Fireball. <laughs> so the next one, there's a Beach Boys folder. I need to, it's, it's, it's like five is the Twilight Zone. Okay? okay. I noticed that the Beach Boys are changing. They're not changed up. Uh, they're still the Beach Boys. It's right next to the, the Milk Caps. Yeah, the Beach Boys, yeah. It's always been some the things boys. are Beach Boys now, and some things aren't. And I even have an 8-track in the residue of just Beach Boys. No, it was the Beach Boys, I'm telling you. Right, but it still is the Beach Boys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's both. Oh. It's both now. And it wasn't. It was always the Beach Boys for me. Yeah, it was the Beach Boys. I'm finding a lot of just Beach Boys. The Beach Boys, yeah. The Beach Boys, right. The Beach Boys concert. Surf, surf and Safari. Beach Boys, Surf and Safari, Beach Boys tape. The eight best Beach Boys. Beach, Beach Boys. Beach Boys party. Just Beach Boys. There's an eight track, Beach Boys. So in this timeline, it could go either way. And it was always the Beach Boys for me. I wish they all could be California. Let's see. Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. 
Um, Eon Rue Winds of Change. All right, so this is just pulling up a song lyric. Um, Eon Rue found. I I, I do remember. I, there should be a folder for that too. I don't know if there is. I don't know what's going on with Flickr. I don't know if it had to do with my internet yesterday. It could have done, had something to do with that. It must be by the Scorpions, and it's now Scorpions, by the way. Yeah, I remember the Scorpions. It, yeah, it was the Scorpions, but and it was. Listen to the winds of change. Listen to the wind of change. What do you guys remember? Is it wind or winds? That's a good question. Good. I remember winds. Teresa, what do you remember? Winds. Do you remember winds? Yeah. Trix Rabbit. Did he have a black oh. nose or a pink nose? Now, a lot of people seem to remember... A pink nose. I clearly remember black. If you go to the residue folder. Yeah, I residue. remember black. He had a black nose. You remember black nose too, Brian? I do. Teresa, what do you remember? Black nose. Yeah. Well, you said pink at first, Teresa, until I showed you these. I said pink too at first. You know that? Yeah. Because that's what he's uh -oh. always. Oh, did we oh. shift again? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pink girl the other day. Now I'm a black girl. <laughs> oh, Teresa. Tricks rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, right? Yeah. Now I just want to point out the gray nose was a was a was a company change. Uh, there's residue. Look at this. Black nose Tony the Tiger. This was like a quadruple whammy. Yeah, no. because we have a green shirt, black nose, black nose, and the beak doesn't have pink. Tony the Tiger did have a black nose, guys. Now that I agree with. Yes. Not blue. Oh, you're talking about the Trix nose. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah. Trix had a pink nose. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I apologize. Right. That's what I thought. I was I, I thought you were talking about Tony the Tiger. But I remember to the tricks bunny having Pink. a black nose. Yeah, I remember right. a black nose and I have a ton of residue which is on the screen right now. <laughs> oh my god, it just it looks awful. I mean I mean it looks weird, you know. Now the gray, the gray nose was a thing. I think we're having dual memories, guys, again. Oh say, um it seems that um family guy remembers it, you know. The, well they remember the gray nose. And there was a gray nose version before the pink nose. We have another one. Another was? Yeah. Lou Vega or Lou Vega? Now, oh. you're not affected by this, Brian, right? I'm not affected by this but one. But Teresa and I are. Guys, yeah. can you please type? Don't show it yet, Brian. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Do you guys remember Lou Vega or Lou Vega with a B? Now, I want you to keep in mind that in Spanish, a B is going to sound like a V. So, I, I mean, a V, yeah, that's right. You know that song that goes one, two, three, four, five, everybody in the console, look, come on, let's ride to the, you know. It's Mama He's got all five, those girls, yeah. remember? Mama number five. Yep. Do you remember his last name spelled with a V or a B as in boy? So, that's what we want to see in the chat. Okay, you so Lou Vega bees, or bees. Lou Vega? I remember Lou Vega. And I remember Lou Vega with a V. What's weird is there was a Suzanne Vega at the time that sang Tom's Diner. Yes. There was a folder, Brian, with folder? residue. Okay. There's residue for Lou Vega. Mm -hmm. Better be there. Where's that? Vega. That's where I saw it. It Is better that... be there. I'm gonna flip out. Oh man, time. we got a, we got a couple of heavy hitting Emmys. Oh man, okay. It's not there. I see the winds of change, so I might as well share this one. Okay. Wind winds of change by Scorpions. The Scorpions. Uh, because now it's wind of change. Mm -hmm. 
Winds of change. Winds of change. Okay. So the Lou Vega or Vega, is that what we're looking for? Yeah. I can't seem to find it. That was the gear. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, okay so, so Mary Jane or Mary Janes? The candy guys. Mary Jane or Mary Janes? Because I clearly remember Mary Janes. My grandmother loved that candy. <laughs> Teresa found this one. Sandy, I just sent you something. It's kind of funny. I'm not affected by this one. <laughs> You're not. You remember it, Mary Jane, Brian? No, I'm. I, I'm. I'm. I, I don't remember either way. I, I don't. I didn't really eat this candy. Surprisingly, it, it was good candy. Up. Very vintage candy. We got to talk about some really major Mandela effects, and and guys, put your seatbelts on here for these. Yeah, uh, these last three are, are big. Okay, so what do you guys remember? Snap, crackle, and pop. Let's talk. Let's think about this. I want you to close your eyes and visualize these these three guys. On your Rice Krispie Treats cereal or Rice Krispies Treats or whatever. So, what do you remember? What color? What color were the hats? It was no, a, I'm blonde, just, I'm just remember, say, a blonde, a blonde headed guy, little elf guy. There was a brown headed elf guy. Wasn't there a red headed elf guy? I'm not sure about the hair. I mean, it was like all three hair colors pretty much. But what I can tell you is one of the hats is red and white stripes. We're not red talking about stripes. a striped hat. Right. We got that one. What's next? What's We're the other one? We're talking about hat? the other two hats. Do you remember them being the same color? Or do you remember one of them being different? I definitely, remember? Don't, I definitely don't remember one of them looking like a train conductor. One of them had a white hat. Um, also, like, like a chef hat. Yes. That's what I remember. And... and it may have been two of them that had chef hats. That's what I remember. Oh, yeah. Two white chefs. Ha the blonde-headed guy is. Didn't the blonde-headed one have a red and white stripe hat? Yeah, we're ignoring that because that's not affected. We're not talking about that one. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying the other two hats. I remember them being the same. I remember two white chef hats, and I want to know if that's what the chat remembers too, or if they remember something else. All right. So rice krispies. And by the way, the E and the A is merged on Rice Krispie Treats. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, it's, you know, and I remember Rice Krispie Treats and now it's Rice Krispies Treats. That's mm -hmm. what's weird too to me. Same. But you I, might I, know I, talked about, I know I talked about this in an earlier video. Look, look at the, the white chef hat on the... It'll probably be easier to see in the residue folder, Brian. Okay. Snap, crackle, and pop. These are the so three guys. In this, in this timeline, pop has always had a yellow hat. And it looks so weird to me. These are the three guys right here. And it looks like a conductor now. Yeah. Looks like a train conductor. Hat. Pop. So we got snap with the white chef's hat. Uh, crackle, the blonde headed guy with the red and white striped hat. And Pop has always had this train conductor hat. And actually, he looks like a toy soldier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Which would have nothing to do with making um, food. Yeah, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. It was always a yellow hat, which is weird to me. Yeah, always a yellow hat? That's weird. He's a conductor now. Uh. Weird. I remember them both having white hats. They both have white hats. All right. Ah, I like Some that. Residue. Uh, That's uh, how it is now. Well, how yeah. it was. That's how it is now. There's looks like there's some residue there. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you how, how it's been throughout the years. 
That's crazy. Tony's been a yellow hat. Oops, we right. the chef hat there. We got um, real quick. We got to talk about Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss. There's a lot oh, going on. I want you to wait. Hold on. We gotta we gotta let the audience visualize this. What do you remember, guys, on the front of every Swiss Miss box of hot chocolate with marshmallows? Mm -hmm. what, what iconic figure do you remember on there? If it, if you remember a, a young woman, um, with blonde having, braids, like an like an apron or something on, kind of look. She looked reminded me of uh, Alice in Wonderland, sort of. And she reminded me of a, mm -hmm. like a German beer garden girl with um with a milkmaid hat. That's but why now she's she's never existed. Isn't that right on the box? Not that she's yeah. never existed. She hasn't existed since the early '80s, and the one that is there from the yeah. '80s and '70s is mm -hmm. like one of those animatronic puppets. It's not like the girl I remember. Oh, there's the Swiss Miss Pudding Bars. Oh, yeah. And, guys, do you remember Swiss Miss Pudding Bars ever existing? I don't. And, I don't. And that R looks really weird. It does. Swiss Miss Pudding Bars. I've never heard of these things. And I was the right yeah. age where I would have been asking my mom for that. Uh, Seriously. Yeah, Swiss Miss. Fudge All Bars, right. never the heard girl, of them. The girl, there's two, th two effects in one here because... The, the Swiss Miss girl is gone from the box. Never, she's she's kind of an animatronic now. And the other she's thing is this pudding bars uh, that, that no one remembers existing, but now they and do. And she also lost her hat. Like if you go to the images in that folder, yeah, there's those are the only images in there. Yeah. Yes, she looks like Alice in Wonderland. That's not the girl I remember. No. She had like a bonnet or something, didn't Can you she? Google that, please? Because you're missing a very important image. She, maybe can they're you, Swiss Miss costumes. Can, no, can, really quick. Can you Google Swiss Miss or 1980s Swiss Miss hot cocoa box or something like that? You, you're, you need that image. It's not in that folder. Uh There's a brown box. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Zoom in on that, please. She did not look like that. That big round face. No, no, no. no. She looks too Hawaiian now. She's got she like looks, flowers in her hair. She looks too cartoony. The girl I remember looked like like a regular person, like maybe like a Barbie doll, if that. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't like round and like cartoony like that. No. No, she, that, she has no hat. Definitely not the flowers in her hair. She had a hat on. Mm-hmm. It was like a white milkmaid's hat. There's Swiss mitts on Etsy. I had a ton more images. I don't know where oh, they man. went. All right, so so we kind of got that out of the way. I'm looking at some Swiss Miss costumes, and some yeah. of these actually have bonnets on. Like this yeah. right here. That's what I remember. The milkmaid bonnet. Yep. Like that. Swiss Miss made in costume. Yep. There's the, the bonnet. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, the last one. I'm going to film that. Now, I don't remember. Um, someone on our last show, I don't remember the name of the person, the individual who's, who told us about this one, but... Pac-Man has changed again where the, the, originally I told you guys the letters had changed in the, the, the logo of Pac-Man, yes. the video game. The, the M and the N don't, don't even look like they exist, and the A's are triangles. But now we have a new Mandela effect with Pac-Man, and his eyes have actual Pac-Man slits in them. I don't remember that. Do you? No. Do you remember that, Teresa? No way. That freaked me out seeing that. No, no, no. They were just plain yeah. round black ones. I, yeah. I had no, no idea that, that this, it, it just it doesn't look right to me. And, and all the ghosts, didn't you say the ghosts have it too now? Yes, ghosts and Miss Pac-Man. It's like the whole gang's got it now. 
like some kind of disease went to all their eyes. Yeah, and <laughs> Pac Man has a dash. Is that new? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really say for sure, but I could have sworn Pac Man was all one word. Um, but the, the the A's are triangles, and the M is almost non-existent in the N. It just looks wrong, and the A the, his eyes have little cutouts right here. Brian, I sent you mm -hmm. res I sent you images that. Yeah, in the in the text. Yeah, because like um. I gotta cycle back through. It was a Sega DVD, a Sega game from yeah. like back in the eighties. Look at look at Miss Pac Man. You just passed it. Right, right. Okay, so so we're looking here at Pac Man with the eye, regular looking eye. That's what I remember. Miss Pac Man. Look at Miss Pac Man. She's got the eyes too. The weird cutouts. That's strange. There's a normal Pac Man. Normal Pac Man Jurassic Park logo. Uh, normal Pac-Man. Somebody did a Pac-Man drawing here. Not bad. Miss Pac-Man. So, anyway. And then, you know, I, I, I honestly, because you could, you could see, obviously, there are some pictures without, you know, the cutouts. But when you go to Pac-Man, um, like on the movie Pixel, that I remember it was a very familiar movie to me because we watched it on um, um, I watched it on um, Netflix or something like that. But in the movie Pixel, um, Pac Man has changed there too. So he's got these slits for eyes. It looks so bizarre. And I want to I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think about that. I don't remember that at all. It was a no. very good movie with Adam Sandler in it. Um, no. I'm going to say no to that. Uh, no, that looks wrong. Uh, it hurts my eyes looking at it. But, yeah, good. good. Whoever found that one, you know, I got to give credit, you know, so where it's due. I didn't find this Mandela effect. And a lot of these tonight um, – you know, we, we didn't find, we found residues for them or, or, or some of these are passed through Teresa Lynch's group on Facebook. If you're, if you're new to the channel, um, there's Teresa Lynch's Facebook group, which, um, you know, you're welcome to join. It's just, um, you want to tell them about your group, Teresa? Or you can tell them about it. Go ahead. It's just a reality residue hunter with three exclamation marks. And that's probably yeah. the best way to, uh, get stuff to me because um, my email stays so busy. It, it's 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 hard to keep up with all of that. So it's it's best to send it to the group in Facebook, and then we'll put it on the show. And we will we may do a shout out, and you'll get, you'll definitely get credit for the residues that you you guys find, and anything new, any new effects. You know, we always try to give credit where it's due. So um, again, I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. And uh, everybody, is there anything else, Sandy, before we go? Uh, no, I, I, I had a little, a little thing that happened to me that's maybe a change. But I'll save it for the next show because I want to look into it more. All right, so we're going to investigate. And, and then you, you Teresa, do um, you have anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Well, if, if everybody's... Um, gotten their fill for the night and we'll go ahead and we'll call it a night <laughs> <laughs> and we say that as Pac-Man is about to chew this man to pieces <laughs> uh, anyways have a great Mandela Effect night and God bless everyone take it easy bye have everyone a good, have a good for weekend. Coming. bye thank everyone you. thank you for bye. coming good night